welcome back to the list. A former Broncos player is back in town to help cheer up kids this Valentine's Day. Ashley Porter has three stories to love around Denver. At number one, a former Bronco giving back. Got good technique there. Offensive lineman Zane Beatles spent four seasons in Denver before heading to play with the Jacksonville Jaguars. He lifts up players and now he's back in town lifting up the spirits of kids. You like the Denver Broncos? Yeah. Today in Sherry Creek, he helped make cookies and Valentine's Day cards for pediatric patients at Rocky Mountain Hospital for children. It's all part of the Zane Beatles Parade Foundation aimed at helping kids going through life-changing medical experiences. Any chance I have to get back and, and support the community here, I, I definitely enjoy it. At number two, not looking forward to Valentine's Day, we'll give you a reason to get excited. Grapes. They're the vehicle to get other really great food into your mouth. Pastry chef Cindy McKnight at the Cook Street School of Culinary Arts has an easy recipe for you. First, mix flour, eggs, milk, and butter. Then pour that batter onto a nonstick skillet. What we're looking for is for it to get dry around the edges. Once that happens, flip it over. Meanwhile, stir together cream cheese and sugar. I gave you the hard part, right? Gotta work that muscle. Add some more sugar to sliced strawberries, put them on top of the cream cheese, on top of the crepe, and enjoy. We've got the full recipe on thelisttv.com. And at number three, transport yourself to the high plains of Colorado at the world premiere of Benediction. Let me go. And she walked all the way home by herself. The play is an adaptation of the book written by the late prize winning Colorado author Kent Harrop. Set in the fictional town of Holt, Colorado, a community searches for meaningful connections despite separation, loneliness, and the race against time. I never wanted her to have to take care of me like this. The show's going on now through March 1st at the Space Theater. Now you're caught up and clued in around Denver.